Could you uh, tell us about your life? My life? Yeah. Hi, my name is Dallas. Doesn't have a hand. Okay. Um, <laughs> Dallas Thompson. People have asked if it's short for anything. I say yes. It's short for Dallas Thompson. So, uh, lived in Waldron. Actually, was born in Ohio, Brooklyn, Ohio. But I came to Indiana, to Waldron, Indiana. You all know where that is? Yeah, I live there. Yes. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> so, built in 1862, I built my home. I actually, I have a picture of it here. I'll show it to you. Yeah. Can you see? That's my home. I built it. Is that in Walden, you can touch it, it won't buy. <laughs> I need a back though, because I only made myself with one copy. I guess it's easier to make copy or copies in this day. But uh, yeah, so I built that in 1862 with my beautiful wife, Where'd you go, baby? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Cecilia. Seven years younger than me. I, I like my own. Uh, beautiful woman. Had uh, one son at a uh, 27. She was 19. We had them young. You guys still have them young? These days? At yeah. one point I had 75 horses. Now, I didn't tame them. I didn't break them and all that. I mean, I, I just, I figured, you know, animals should be with animals should be. You know, we don't, uh, you know, take tigers and put saddles on them. So why should you do that to a horse? So, about 75, they just roamed in my property. Had a heart for squirrels. They're cute, aren't they? Do you like squirrels? They're cute. Yeah. Well, thanks. So one man uh, shot a squirrel on my property, so I sued him. So I figured, that's a funny thing. <laughs> uh, so I sued him because he uh, killed a squirrel. People thought I was crazy. Colored. Just trying to defend a poor squirrel. Can't. I mean, who's going to look up on squirrels if we don't, right, man? Do you have any children? No. Are you 19? Uh, 17. You should be having kids by now. What are you waiting <laughs> for? Are you married? Nope, not yet. Engaged? Nope. What do you people wait for? <laughs> My time, life is short. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Well, shoot, we were. This is the tombstone of Thomas Swain. Thomas Swain was a businessman and author. Shelbyville, and after a while he uprooted his business, the Bliss and Swain Clothing Company, and moved it to Indianapolis. And it was housed on the first floor of the State Life Building, and that was the first skyscraper in Indianapolis. The unique thing about this is that this is a low relief sculpture, a base relief or a bass relief sculpture, and um, it rises very, it stays really close to the plane. It's a low relief. If you think in musical terms, bass being the lowest part of the chorus, low meaning it doesn't rise high off the surface, but there's also a type called alto relief, and an alto relief sticks out farther because it's higher. And the neat thing about this too, it also has a sub-relief here, which is actually dug out, dug out of the stone deep. each one of them because I feel it, I owe it to myself to find out about the children that I knew in these homes. Like I said, Goldie back here, Goldie Anderson, her father was John D. Anderson and she passed away at five months old and uh, they didn't say what she died of. Like I said, George over here, he, he was 10 and he passed away and he had the purple measles and it's a disease that still comes around today. It's very hard to cure. But he passed away of it. He's ten. It, they called it malignant measles, and it took it. It took it a week uh, to take him. And then let's see. We got. Uh, we have Emma Moans. They, beans. They have it in the paper. It's Emma Moans. She was ten years old. Let's see Emma. Right here. Is that Emma? No, Emma. Emma's up. She was ten years old when she passed away. And she, it was a week before she died, and she had, uh, she had diphtheria. She was one of five children that were sent to the orphanage. Like Judge uh, Bertha Redmond, she died at the age of uh, five. 
little ones died because simply because of illnesses and diphtheria took a lot of them. Uh, the measles, like I said, but these are the only ones that we had that actually have record that they died at the home. Which 12 out of all those children, that's not too bad. How many children were there? Well, at one time the home had up to 56 children in it. It had full capacity of 60. But we ran between 25 and 30 children out there. 